<laughs> what is going on? I can't do it again, guys. I'm gonna pull behind the curtain real quick. You know, never any secrets around here. Just tried recording, wasn't recording. Well, the camera wasn't on one of the cameras, you know, working many cameras around here. If you guys are not familiar with the show, but anyways, we're gonna get into it. We were only four minutes in, so not you know, not nothing too serious. But now we're gonna take it serious. We're gonna get back into the mode, and let's give it to y'all. So. Welcome to the podcast, your host Jason. Yes, sir. Coming at you live this week in the Spit It Out Studios. And of course, we have the one and only JJ here with me today this week. JJ, I'm what's going back. on? Come back. He's back. He's back. He sure is. And if you guys were here last week, you would notice something different this week. And of course, youtube.com slash Jason, yes, sir, so you can notice it all. First 20 For the minutes. First of 20 every- minutes of the every episode. Go ahead. I was going to say, don't interrupt me, but you know what? If you're going to interrupt me with something like that, with some good shit, go ahead. Uh, yes, first 20 minutes of every episode of the podcast. The rest of it is, of course, audio only. But right now, you would be witnessing what I'm witnessing, and that is a cotton candy man we have over here. <laughs> the gun show, I'm not sure, because he's also flexing. But the cotton candy man over here right now. That's cotton candy on his head. What's going on, JJ? But it is. It what is like happening? Team Rocket over here. Team Rocket, yes, of course. Um, Pokemon. <laughs> catch me in um, the new uh, season of Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> gotta catch them all. This new season, yep. Uh, Jorgen's brother. Right, what, that was his name, Jorgen? Jorgen? Um, but know, like no, so we was before we got you know disconnected or whatever. We had to start over. We were just getting into it. You was gonna say how you came across the color. So before people that are not looking and they're just listening, we're gonna describe the color for you. It's like a lilac. I think best describes it. <laughs> yeah, lilac. um, lilac. Yeah, we were saying not a periwinkle. Periwinkle would be too of a soft violet, too harsh. So lilac would be right where it's at. You don't actually lavender. hear that color lavender. too much. La- a lavender. lavender. We hear more. Mm. We don't hear lavender. Maybe a lavender. Yeah, because a lilac actually I think has a little more pink in it. Yeah, lilac. I think, yeah. I think it does have a little more pink. A little rosa, a little rosa up in there. Um. So yeah, you might be right. Might be more of a a generic lavender. You know, lilac was sounding cool, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um. So why why did you end up? Dying your hair, you have done it a couple times already in the past, a couple yeah. months or so during this oh, quarantine and such. Yeah, I just seen it on uh, Instagram, and I seen like uh, on the Explore page, it was like haircuts, fades, and all that stuff. Then I just kept scrolling, and then I seen it, it was like this color, but it was like this with gray. A little bit. Is this a broken like, record? <laughs> I was like, oh, I like that. And then after, somebody else just had it, but they had the whole head, so I have my whole head right now. But... I'm going to change it up when I'm going to get a haircut next. So. You're going to get a haircut, shave up the side. What you get, like a fade number two, skin fade? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd rather. Okay. I so by it. next week, you know, and lately I've been going to the barbershop. I get all that talk. Now I know the terms, the terminology they use in the shop. Well, next week is cool gonna, and shit. Yeah. The next week is going to look like I'm going to need another haircut. This will be good until oh, even, like Thursday or Friday. You want all those. I see. You get a haircut, you need a haircut every three days or so. You need that DJ Khaled. Well, he got a haircut every day, right? <laughs> DJ Khaled. Every hour, like, dude, you're not even growing hair yet. I'm, right now, I'm scraping your fucking scalp. Um, oh. No, so yeah, you might be growing. I can need another haircut, too. My hair be growing. It's not too quick or so, but, you know, it's just in that certain spots, and you'd be like, oh, okay, now I kind of need a haircut yeah, or so. Yeah. Um, but... What I also wanted to know was, um, did you say why the color? Oh, yeah, because the Instagram, we figured out the algorithm knows you best. You was on the Explore page. Yeah, and you yeah. seen it. And see, you knew, which, you knew exactly what you wanted. But um, besides that, you haven't really been out to no, oh, explore I had the game. town with I your had, hair. I had two games. Yeah, I had two games. And the only thing I was like, oh, he has purple hair. Like, you see me already in four innings, and now you just know they have purple hair. Now you just know it's purple. I just put my contacts in. <laughs> the lights went out. The, I mean, the lights hey, went out. There's actually a guy like that. Like he only can play a certain time of the game because if not, he can't see. He has glasses on. And oh, one time real? he got. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. One, I'm not making fun of you. In case you're listening. No, one time he got up, but he took his glasses off. 
<laughs> and then he you swung do. him in the next pitch. Oh, well, that that makes sense. Because <laughs> you took yeah. your glasses off, dude. Come on. Oh. That's odd, though. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take it off while I'm going to go back. Makes yeah, more yeah, sense. Yeah. Um, anyway, so update from last time. Oh, let me lower my phone. Apologies, apologies. So unprofessional of me. Sorry. But what I was going to say was um, last week I talked about I had attended that Dr. Phil taping in the audience. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um. So I told you guys once this Dr. Phil thing and it was in the audience that so I was talking about the episode Aaron at that time. It was just the season was about to start and that week I didn't see any of the episodes that I Who's attended. Aaron? <laughs> <It's> so funny. <laughs> um you mean Aaron? Aaron? Um I said added like three A Aaron. But Triple A Triple A, yeah. Um Aaron. They didn't air those episodes yet on the first week or so. And then this upcoming week, they still didn't air. So I don't know when the episodes are actually airing. Who knows? Um, it does. Now that I just said it again, it felt like I said Aaron. But I'm talking about airing A I R I N G. So I'm not sure when they will be premiering the show. There you go. There you go. Um, the episode. So I'll have to, guys, you know, catch you up on that and, uh, excuse me, let you all know when. I make it on the big screen. I was just thinking of like it'd be a commercial. Now Aaron with Aaron Aaron's <laughs> or Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The same name and stuff. I kind of like when they do stuff like that though. And then be like the double name or whatever. Yeah, like it'd be corny, like corny funny. Um, speaking about, corny, corny. did you say a commercial? No, I said if it was like a commercial. If it was like a commercial, that's it. Speaking, yeah. speaking about commercial, we're not going to a commercial, but hold on just a second. Speaking of commercials, they aired. Now, I didn't personally see it. I seen it after the fact and all that. So you're familiar. You had knew about Tiger King and all of that and that Carol Baskin now on Dancing with the Stars, right? Yeah. Are you familiar with that? Okay. You know, just give me something. <laughs> I'm trying to work with something. At, I'm not looking at the camera. A little I'm feedback. No, I'm looking at you instead of the camera and how, like, you always okay. See Hard enough we're on Zoom, and you know I can't read you that well. All right. No. So um, it, she's on Dancing with the Stars, I guess, and this, and also on Dancing with the Stars this um season. There was a couple other people, Nelly, you know, from the uh Saint Lunatics, Saint Louis. Um, <laughs> what was one of your favorite Nelly songs? Drop Eagle on Girl, <laughs> on Girl. What? No, those she could tell. He was the one. he was the one to rock that band aid on that face. Yeah. Uh, Nothing was wrong with him. One of the old ones, and then we used to watch it um, on VAT. Oh, Off of Nellyville? It was, uh, no, no, I just forgot. Tip Drill. <laughs> oh, like I need a Tip Drill. I need it, yeah. right? Country Grandma, his first one. It's getting hot in here. Country Grandma, yep. But then I remember Nellyville with his face on. But then I remember that other one he did have, the where you bought the two CDs and it was his face together. His face mm-hmm. was in the half, so it was like you needed the complete. That one was actually called Suit. Suit and Sweat. That was in 2004. Was, was, it, was it that song? Was it that song? Because it's all in my head. I think well, let's see. Head. Let's name a couple before we get off track too much and we'll get back into Dancing with Stars and all that madness. But Nelly, Country Grandma, Grandma. Um, what songs were on this album? I'm horrible with, you know. Country Grandma? Trying to think back of stuff like that. But let's see. The songs that were on here, track listing on Country Grandma, he had on um, he of course. <laughs> yeah, your laid your lighting is way better than over here. Oh, I know. We gotta work on that pronto. Okay, so on here, this was his. Was this the first album? Yeah. So his intro was if featuring. It, if you think yeah. about it, it looks like yeah, I'm calling from like Massachusetts, Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> A place never heard of. Yeah. Um, on the intro, I had um featuring Cedric the Entertainer. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't remember a lot of these songs though. Maybe I'm not that big of an Ellie fan. Or I just don't know these by the title. Um that was the intro, then it was okay. Saint Louis was the title. Greed, Hate, Envy, Country Grammar, Steal the Show, Interlude, Ride With Me, E Oh E I E I Uh oh that's E I Okay. Oh, yeah, these are the songs. Album. That's what I'm saying. Some of these I probably don't know by the the title, but I probably know once I hear it. A lot of shit is like that, but yeah, EI. So that song, then uh, "Thicky Thick Girl" featuring Murphy Lee and Ollie. And two from the same lunatics. Mm-hmm. For my featuring Lil Wayne. 
Yeah, and some of the other side, those them like rappers, eight rap on them, batter up, never let them see you sweat. Oh, Love that me. batter up. I remember that song, that batter up. How'd that go? What featuring Murphy Lee and Ali? Yeah, I don't remember, but... Better oh, but you room. remember it. Oh, okay, you remember it. <laughs> yeah, because they were dressed in the uh, jerseys. Jim Lewis jerseys. Backwards? I mean, I that. Now, I that was his first one, 2000. I believe. So, I probably remember more so 2002 album, Nellyville, the one I was speaking of beforehand. And when this one was, is getting hot in here, so hot. Mm-hmm. Of course, we all know that smash hit. Um, where's the other track listings, people? Track listings, track listings. Oh my goodness, right here. Oh, pimp juice. Mm-hmm. My pimp juice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On there, also we got dilemma featuring Kelly oh. Rowland. Dilemma right. featuring Kelly Rowland. Go ahead, hey, hit Sarah, it. Hold on, I'm looking at this batter up song, and I remember. It. We can't yeah, play it though. We're gonna get copyright. No, we can't play it. 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 It's gonna so be copyright. But the guy from George Jefferson, George Jefferson, he was on there. Oh yeah. See, we can't play it, especially not in the first twenty minutes because that's gonna be on YouTube. Um, work it featuring Justin Timberlake, Rock the Mic. See, yeah, I see a lot of these songs. Here, Fed- uh, Frederick, Cedric the Entertainer again on this uh, track nineteen. Fuck it, then. Featuring Yana, Cedric the Entertainer and Lala. Okay, wow. anyways, so before we like get too Lala much Lala. off track with Nelly, huh? Like Lala Lala? Lala. It was probably, I think so, L.A. Space L.A. Who's that one? Is that, that Lala? <laughs> no, that, that, no that's her she name. Not, Lala, doesn't have the space? La, La Space L.A. <laughs> it's La Space L.A. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but does she spell it that way or does she not? Like, I'm not sure. It might be a different Lala. Or like, la, la. Ooh, la, la. La, la. <laughs> okay, anyways, okay, like I was saying, so Dancing with the Stars on the cast, also on there is one of the Backstreet Boys, AJ McLean, McLean, McLean. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Charles Oakley, isn't that a... That's what we're... Okay. Um, who else we got on there? Charles Uncle. Oh, Jeannie Mine from The Rio, and that's what, what's his name? Uh, Jesse Meltcalf, remember that? He actually is from back home. Okay. He's from um, Waterford or something like that. But um, is that him for that? Uh, everyone, or... John Tucker must die. Every, yeah, that, I would say everyone must die yeah. or something like that. <laughs> or I was thinking that what is it? Romeo must die or something. But it's John yeah. Tucker must die, right? John Tucker, pass the ball to Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time we've said that in like episode back to back, right? No, but you in know, last it's funny. When we were playing, uh, well, we used to play two K. Like me, Hector, a couple other people. We used to be able to like, Hector, get the ball to Tucker. <laughs> There's nobody named Tucker on our team. We Pass the ball, Tucker. Was, yeah, we used to say that all the time. Um, so, wait, how did we even get into that? Because you said about You became me Metcalf. off track. Jesse Metcalf, and then he was in that Okay, show. we need to stick to the program. I need to get better on this. I need to focus. John Tucker. Tucker must die. Oh, she's on it too. Justina Machado. She's oh. from um Once Upon a Time, the remake that they put in. is pretty funny, you know? Um, But she plays the mom, so she's on that as well. Okay, yeah, so Nelly, like I said. Oh, Sky Jackson, that she was on the Disney shows. Yeah, and yeah. she's always... A trending in on um, memes and stuff, yeah. <laughs> AI, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Um, this is another one, right? Vernon Davis. That sounds like another athlete. Vernon Davis. Oh no, that's Vernon Wells. Vernon Davis. Probably. Or maybe it's a bachelor star or something. He kind of looks like a bachelor guy or athlete. Um, like hmm. A, a, um, a bachelor guy. A bachelor guy named Vernon. They should stick to, to John's, Eric's, Scott's, Barry's. Oh, he's a former American football tight and the 15 NFL from the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, yeah, 49ers. Okay, okay. Look at Brandon Davis. Uh, yeah, oh, and also the guy from Caffin, Neve, he's on there. Who? Neve. Catfish? Catfish? Oh. It's all for free. It's all for, the it's all for his new show. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so as I was saying, so Carol Baskin's on this show, right? So they ended up um, going to a commercial. So when they went to a commercial break, 
they had so you've seen tiger king right i forgot we went all over the place so i still haven't even seen that oh you haven't seen it but you got the whole synopsis or whatever right that's supposedly they were trying to figure yeah. out about everything but then they found out about carol baskin they were trying to say that she killed her husband right yeah just like in that you TikTok, heard that much I, about I, it. I never i never did tiktok but yeah just like that TikTok. <laughs> oh okay so you must, might be the wrong person i'm even talking to about this but anyways so Honestly, it's been sorry but i haven't even watched tv like pfft. And a lot are kept up on like these news recently. I don't know. I haven't been. I've been back. To well, work. this is quite old. This is even before the pandemic. Well, it was the beginning. Um, but anyways, it's been conspired allegedly, whatever that she had killed her own husband, right? But Dancing with the Stars aired. They went to a commercial break. During the commercial break, they played a commercial that was like some bootleg looking local commercial. You know how you see, and you'd be like, "What the fuck is this?" Um, but it was like. A lawyer type commercial. It was um, the daughters of the guy, and it was like I'm. I forget his name. I'm such and such's daughter. I'm such and such's daughter. I'm. There's like four daughters, five daughters, and then it was like one of them the assistants, and it was still saying like you know we want to find out the information, like open the case. We want to find out the information and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, but the thing was like done in '97 or something. So then the lawyers like, yeah, if you know anything about this mystery from his mysterious disappearance from 1997. Please, you know, reach us, call this number or whatever. And then, um, what are y'all it's like gonna if, do? But it's like, if you think Carol Baskin has anything to do with it, call us too. And then, but it's like, they had the nerve to air this during Dancing with well, the Stars. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, it came on the big I remember show, yeah. when it came out and it was such a big documentary on Netflix and it was being such talk about and went viral that they were saying they were going to reopen the case. But then I didn't hear much about it again and now they're giving this lady publicity but you have seen it you have watched that document i seen it yeah yeah. i had seen the whole documentary yeah it was quite interesting um it was a lot it was wild it was a lot all over the place and shit like that honestly but no i did see the documentary uh huh um speaking about other documentaries that i did just see recently though i will mention another one before we go to commercial break for you guys but i recently watched a documentary this was a quite excuse me older documentary um i don't even remember what it's on if it's on netflix or hulu i think i'm gonna be on netflix but it's called hot girls wanted and it's actually a documentary that was um about in getting to know kind of like the young girls that enter into um porn pretty much like that um find these websites and find like list ad listings on craigslist that say yeah. hot girls want or whatever you know like younger will fly you out here or whatever they'll get flown out to miami and then start their career early on yeah. um as soon as they turn 18 you used to see that you used to see that before when you were trying yeah to like you see on listings and stuff that always say whatever you know we're looking for models that's what they'll say most of the time yeah. we're looking for hot models between this age or in this area whatever um so it was a whole documentary about that and just saying on how big like the whole industry is itself, the porn industry, and then also um, how early, like as soon as these girls turned 18, they're emailing these companies and out to these, I don't know, agents or whatever you want to call them. But they're reaching out to these like porno companies and stuff and just like basically like trying to get in contact. But then it was also in the documentary saying how they're like, I say their life, their career span in the whole industry is only a couple months. Some of them last like a month or two to three months. That's it. Or like if you're one of the good, you maybe last a year or so, and then that's basically it. And you know now you got to find something else to do. Like there's not many of them that stick around. Um, a lot of them too would try to keep it hidden about personal life or family, friends or whatever and stuff. And the guy that pretty much there was a guy that pretty much like housed the girls. Like they would come in and he found them their gigs so i'm sure yeah. he was getting some kind like their manager pretty much if you would think about yeah. it um but he would give them housing and then find them gigs and stuff like that um he was saying that the girls would be like oh you know i don't know how to break it to my family or whatever this is and that but he was like they're gonna find out most people with under a month they end up finding out because someone they know or whatever someone close to them finds out because they're like yeah, that's yeah. how many people watch porn so it's like you automatically someone's going to recognize you and then it's going to come across and it's that quick that it happens but they're like yeah most of the time it's like under a month and it's ready out there and to be known um so it was like no. interesting but i was kind of falling in and out. i was on my phone and i'd be 
losing it was an older like, probably 2000 i don't think it was 2015 i want to say maybe like 2018 documentary or something uh, i don't think it was that old but it was okay i was like okay it was just something to put on that's funny you said about like being out, in and out because that's how i've been like lately and like recently and stuff like i've been on my phone on youtube and stuff watching all into it <laughs> the next thing i know but notice is like this <laughs> the, uh, hitting you in the head if people don't know yeah, he's saying the phone, phone hitting him in the head uh, Dropping it on himself. For real, that happens to me. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, let's not talk too much real quick. We got a commercial break. We're going a little over schedule. You know, we got to stay on this schedule. You know what I'm saying? We got to get back into things. No, let's go to commercial. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We got some more things to talk about. I have something else that's kind of related. Documentaries. And this kind of also has to do something else with more. Porn. I wasn't planning on speaking about all this porn, but um, <laughs> some more documentaries and all that. So we'll be right back. We have some more things to get into.